Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are unlocking the hidden power of Jupyter Notebooks with something called magic commands. These little commands can seriously level up your workflow. So let's get started. Magic commands are built-in shortcuts in Jupyter Notebooks that make common tasks easier and faster. They come in two flavors, line magics which start with a simple percentage symbol and cell magics which start with double percentage. So here are some useful line magics. So first we have percentage time. So if you want to know how long your code takes to run, you can wrap it with percentage time and boom, you'll get the runtime instantly. The next is percentage time it. For more accuracy, percentage time it runs your code multiple times and gives an average. Next is percentage PWD. You can quickly check your current working directory by using percentage PWD. If you want to list all the files in your current directory, you can use percentage ls. And if you want to list all defined variables in the notebook, you can use the magic command percentage who. Now for the cell magics. These are great when you want to apply something to the whole cell. Percentage percentage time. So like percentage time, but it measures execution of the entire cell. If you want to save your entire cell as a .py file, you can use percentage percentage write file and then you can write the name of your file name .py. So it is perfect for converting cells into scripts. Last we have percentage percentage bash which is used to run bash shell commands directly in your notebook. It is super handy for automation or file management. We can also run code in a different language inside our notebook. So for that we can use percentage percentage HTML to write and render raw HTML, double percentage latex to display latex beautifully and double percentage JavaScript to run and render uh, JavaScript. First, let us see the timing of code execution. So first, let us see a single line timing magic command. So we can write percentage time sum i for i in range. And then if we run this code, so we have got the CPU time is 62.5 millisecond and the wall time is 86.6 millisecond. Now another accurate method is the percentage time in it. So it runs multiple times and gives the average time of execution. So if we run this code, it will take some time as it will run the code multiple times. So we have got 82.3 millisecond plus minus 1.24 millisecond per loop. Then if we want to check the current working directory, we can run this command percentage pwd. So we are currently in the C users directory. Then if we want to list files in the current directory, we can run this command percentage ls. So it will give us uh, all the files present in the current directory that is the C users directory. So these are all the files present in the directory. Then we have like if we want to show all the variables in the notebook, we can write in this command percentage who or percentage who. So it is showing i. So over here in the time it command we had run for i in range. So it is a variable. So currently we have like one variable in this notebook. Then if we want to write our file, then we can use per double percentage write file hello.py. And then we can generate a function say hello and we can print hello from file. So we have written hello.py. Now if we want to run a shell command, so what we can do is we can use the function, uh, we can use the magic command double percentage bash and we can write running shell commands from Jupyter make their test folder ls. Now, uh, so git bash is not installed in my system, so it is showing this command that couldn't find program, but if it is installed in your system, then it will show running shell commands from Jupyter. So in uh, upcoming videos, we'll see like how to download git bash and how to use that. Next we have like for HTML we can use double percentage HTML and I'm using the h2 style color as green and I'm writing this is a heading in HTML. So we can see that we have got this text in green color as a heading H in h2 style. Then if you want to use JavaScript we can use double percentage JavaScript and I'm showing an alert that this is an alert from JavaScript. 
So if we run this code, we can see that our local host has given an alert that this is an alert from JavaScript. Now the next is percentage, double percentage time. So again, it is giving us the CPU time. It is giving us the CPU time for the entire cell. The first uh, magic command that we had seen was for a single line, only for this line. It was 62.5 millisecond and for this entire cell, it is like 109 millisecond. Then if we want to see all the magic commands, we can write percentage magic. So it will give us a documentation about the magic commands. Like it is first we have the time it range thousand. So it is it will give us the magic command a uh, command along with its description. Then we have if we want to get help on a specific magic command, then what we can do is we can write the name of the magic command followed by a question mark sign. So again we are getting a documentation of how to use the magic command. And that's the magic of well magic commands. Try them out and supercharge your coding workflow in Jupyter. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next one.